There are moments in K-pop that sound fake and straight up ridiculous, but the truth is that they're more than real. Let's go over some of them and have a good laugh. Not getting the memo. Hands down the most hilarious moment from Korean award shows must be when in 2020, Mamamoo came dressed as Teletubbies while everyone else came to the ceremony dressed in gorgeous gowns and other fabulous pieces. At the time, everybody thought that Mamamoo came there just to troll the awards or to lighten up the mood. Well, turns out that they got the wrong information about the dress code. Queen revealed that they were the the only group who got wrong information about what the theme of the Golden Disc Awards was. The official theme was Winter Wonderland, but Mamamoo were told to prepare parade costumes. Queen shared, We were the only ones who received the incorrect instructions that we should wear cosplay outfits. So everyone else came dressed as princes and princesses outfits, but we were the only ones wearing Teletubby costumes. I swear to God, this moment is for the history books. Panicking on TV. If there's one moment that made the whole K-pop community laugh together, it's Monsta X panicking because of taxes on the live broadcast of Midnight Idol. I am and Kihyun were reading fans' messages when suddenly their whole life flashed in front of their eyes. It was due to one fan reminding them to pay taxes. The fan wrote a message saying, Did you know that today is the last day to pay your vehicle tax? If you have not paid it yet, make sure to get your payment in before midnight. Kihyun froze and immediately asked I am if he paid for it. I am had no clue that there was a payment due and both of them started to panic. I am said, Wait, is this for real? Oh my god. It was the funniest thing to to see both of them try to pay their taxes during a live broadcast. I am even called his accountant to figure it out as there were only two hours left to pay the tax. This was honestly the peak of real life comedy. Relationship cover up. In August of 2021, Joy from Red Velvet officially confirmed that she's dating Crush. But when she finally confirmed that they're indeed in a relationship, fans dug up an interview that Joy and Crush did together on a radio show in May of 2020. During this interview, they were asked whether they became close after they worked together on music. And well, well, their answers were so hilarious that I can just imagine how Joy's PR team was panicking backstage. Joy said, didn't we become quite close? She said this while looking straight into Crush's face. The best part is how he eagerly replied with, for sure, we've become very close. But hold on, it's not the end of it. Then they started to nod for like 10 seconds and were just staring at each other before bursting out laughing. Crush tried to cover it up by repeating and he said, sure, we've become very close. And when he realized that he low-key exposed themselves, he looked down and said, first let me look at the script, to which Joy eagerly responded, yes. The best revenge. If there's one person who knows how to throw a great indirect shade, it's Hyuna. And I'll tell you why in a second. When she was kicked out of Cube after she confirmed her relationship with Dawn, Cube stocks dropped. Yup, investors just decided to withdraw their money because Hyuna was keeping lights on in Cube for a long time at that point and they simply lost their interest. But that's not the indirect shade I'm referring to. On the day Cube's stocks dropped more than usual, Hyuna sent her mother a bouquet of flowers for her birthday. The flowers were wrapped in money. Like literal cash, you guys. The amount of money the flowers were wrapped in was about $1,000. And since the flowers were posted online, many people believe that Hyuna was throwing shade at Cube for thinking that she would be financially struggling once they kicked her out. Well, joke's on them. No makeup Jenny. Blackpink's Jenny is a gorgeous young lady. That's a given fact. It's undeniable. And if you think otherwise, well, think again, because Jenny is absolutely beautiful. And she's beautiful with with or without makeup. This was proven once on Music Bank when she thought that Blackpink wouldn't win that night and so she took off her makeup while being backstage. When the groups were being called back on stage to hear who won that day, Blackpink were surprised to take another win home. As Jenny didn't expect it, she was embarrassed because there were cameras rolling and she was the only celebrity on stage without makeup on. At first she was a bit shy and tried to hide her face, but she then just enjoyed the encore performance and gave zero Fs about ruthless haters. How can anyone hate this woman? That's beyond my understanding. Expect the unexpected. We've already talked about Joy from Red Velvet, but now it's time to remember a moment that went down in the group's history. When the girls performed at Chungang University's annual festival in 2019, they had to deal with something unexpected on the stage. They were about to sing their last song, and so Joy asked the audience to choose whether they wanted to hear Red Flavor or Bad Boy. They didn't expect the audience to choose Bad Boy, but it happened. Well, the issue was is that they didn't have the background music for Bad Boy ready, so the girls said that it would have to be without the music. Thinking that this argument would make the audience change their mind, they became hopeful, but well, the audience started to eagerly demand to hear Bad Boy. And so Sulgi told the fans to sing a bit so they would have some background music at least. The girls were definitely put on the spot that day, but this moment became legendary as they ate it up. They enjoyed the performance as hell, and what's more, they proved that they can indeed sing. Well, Red Velvet are not to be messed with, you can count on that. Swearing on TV. If you're a fan of Seventeen, you definitely know what I'm talking about. 
Not only is it one of the funniest things that's ever happened to Seventeen, but it's one of the best TV moments related to K-pop. The person who we need to thank for this is none other than Dino, because what he delivered was comedic gold. While filming one show, Dino started to curse at the Eight, and when he did that, it was so unexpected that the Eight stopped working that second. Like, you could literally see him trying to get back to reality. Meanwhile, Mingyu was having a mental breakdown in the background because he couldn't stop laughing. The best thing was the explanation behind the whole thing, because not Dino himself himself could believe his words as he said, I've learned those swear words through all the good and bad things in life. Someone give this guy his own show so we can hear his life lessons and learn a thing or two. There's no way to not stand him. Don't mess with girls. When G Friend caught their own stalker at a fan meeting, all we could do was applaud them. In 2017, the girls had a fan meeting and one fan seemed extremely suspicious. The thing is, is that there's a rule that fans can't film idols up close at the tables during the fan meetings, and this one particular guy thought he found a way to film them in secret. He wore sunglasses with a hidden camera in them, and the members of G-Friend immediately caught it. The first one to notice something weird was Yuju, but the guy moved to Shinbi quickly. While the stalker talked to Shinbi, Yuju told Solon that the guy seemed suspicious and that she thought that there was something wrong with his glasses. After the man moved from Shinbi to Yedin, Yuju spoke to Shinbi and told her about the glasses. Yedin overheard and asked the guy to take off the glasses. He did it, and the glasses were then inspected by the manager, who confirmed that there was a camera. Now there's one thing for sure, G-Friend are not to be messed with. Drunk say. You probably know this, but K-pop idols are actually forbidden to publicly or openly drink alcohol. They usually even avoid talking about it as it can taint their image. Well, not with our girl Rosé, because she is well aware that her fans call her Drunk say when she becomes a bit tipsy. And let me just say that there's nothing I love more than to see Rosé having fun. She's absolutely the best. But the moment I'm talking about was her live stream when she was joking around and said in front of thousands of people, Not see Drunk say today. Don't you worry. On that note, I need Blackpink's comeback like ASAP. No filter. I'm not even exaggerating when I say that Hyunjin thinking that he has a filter on is one of my favorite K-pop live moments of all time. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the live stream where Hyunjin was looking so freaking good that he thought that there was a filter on. So he went to check and well, turns out that he's just that gorgeous in real life and there was no filter on. It was just his natural face. Filter Becca. I believe I'm speaking for everyone when I say that I need this man to drop his skincare routine because his visuals are out of this world. Not so pure. Back in the day when NCT's Marks and Haytun were still just newbies in the industry, SM Entertainment posted a video introducing them as SM Rookies. Well, in the video, the boys are talking about how fans can search up the SM Rookies website. And this is exactly when the hilarious moment happened. While they're explaining it, there appears to be a search bar and at one point, you can see an inappropriate website get suggested. Fans noticed this immediately, and when SM Entertainment realized that this was in the video, they took it down and re-uploaded it. Although this was a very funny moment, it was pretty obvious that the computer belonged either to the editor or to some staff member, so the websites that were suggested might not have been visited by the boys themselves at that time. Or at least as far as we know. Every fan's dream. I guess every fan had at least one thought of what it would be like to date their favorite idol. You know, when we were younger and delusional. Well, what if I told you that there are fans who had a chance to date their favorite idol on an actual TV show. Mnet once had a show called Scandal, and it was just that. On the show, ordinary girls could date popular male celebrities. This show aired in the early 2000s, and some fans brought it up again this year, reminiscing about old memories. Many people said that this show sounds straight up unreal, as there would be no chance for it to air in 2022, because fans would go crazy if they saw idols date normal people on TV. Well, the show was definitely a choice. Anyway, what other moments can you think of? Share them in the comments. Bye, guys!